<clears throat> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on my channel, and I'm here to talk about some wrestling news. We're going to talk about some of the latest news, latest rumors of wrestling, so let's get right into it ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing I want to talk about is Chris Jericho. I uh, says the ratings are going up when Swerve Strickland is on TV. So he basically said, uh, said who is drawing every week? You can, you can kind of see this pattern of whenever he's on. The ratings go up. Swerve Strickland is one of those guys, end quote, from Mr. Uh, Y2J, Chris Jericho. I don't know. When he comes on, I usually change the channel. With, especially him with this random group with Parker Bordeaux, Rick Ross, and who the hell. It's just, I just don't enjoy the group. He was much better with Keith Lee, in my opinion. Very much better with Keith Lee. Because, yes, adding him Parker Bordeaux, because adding Parker Bordeaux and having him join a random gener generic stable is going to get get the interest level up anything that he does. Look, I love Swerve Strickland. Like, I, I love Swerve Strickland, but, I mean, you just don't have any interest in this. This is just random. Uh, the NXT uh, ratings on uh, January 24th received a small increase in viewership. The key demo rating declines. So just a small increase uh, for NXT ratings. So, Nikita Lyons revealed a torn ACL and meniscus injury. I don't think it's going to be the end of her career. So hopefully she recovers well. Definitely a blow toward the rising stars in the women's division with a torn ACL and meniscus injury. So hopefully she recovers well. Uh, there's been another report about Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon wants to be him back in the news. Tired of having to cover this, covering everything about Vince McMahon because it's just... Just tired of covering it, but I have to. I mean... Wrestling news, or I'm just doing my job, ladies and gentlemen. Vince McMahon is sued by the investors for allegedly paying to cover sexual harassment allegations. This is interesting, but it's likely going nowhere. That ain't doing shit. I don't think this is the same like news we keep hearing about. Oh, more lawsuits. Well, when nothing's gonna happen because it's Vince McMahon. But hopefully this is a, uh, another start of Vince McMahon's downfall. So hopefully these we get more and more lawsuits against Vince McKennedy McMahon. Uh, so a third lawsuit has been filed against Mr. McMahon. So according to Bloomberg, there's a third lawsuit against Vince McMahon brought against him by shareholders who were suing over McMahon's alleged history to, of pain to cover up sexual harassment ac accusations. They are seeking to s severe the case from the co co consolidated action, which could keep the bylaw-related re claims alive and burned with any fee request. So the suit, which was brought forward by Carol Casale and Crystal Lavelle, is not publicly available. So, McMahon, obviously no, reached a multi-million dollar settlement with Rita Chatterton, uh, who accused him of rape back in 1992. Uh, so, Detroit's police and fire retirement system and Scott Fowles previously fire, filed lawsuits against McMahon, arguing that McMahon had breached fiduciary duties as controlling stockholder. So, that's the uh, first lawsuit. Uh, that's one of the lawsuits against Vince McMahon. It was because he breached fidu fidu fiduciary duties as controlling stockholders. By, tr by trying to impose his personal will on WWE and its board, by pur purporting to adopt a package of invalid and in inquitable bylaw amendments that would hamstring the board from making critical business decisions, they are seeing a declaration that would affect block that would effectively block McMahon from regaining control of these board directors and preventing him from expect, ex expediting a sale. So there's the article right there about Vince Vince McMahon. That's one of the that's two of the three lawsuits I forgot the other one was, but yeah, another lawsuit for Vince McMahon. Uh, 
Let's see if I some more news. So, Tony Khan said the three-hour J Briscoe tribute show matches taped last week. Highlights, comments will be posted soon, and they'll give more information after Dynamite. So, this was on an interview on Busted Open Radio uh, from Mr. Mr. Khan. So, it's good to see uh, they're going to have a... Uh, but, it's good to see Mark Briscoe is going to be on AEW tonight. Report so Big Con has signed a multi-year contract with Impact Wrestling. Remember, he was part of the uh, the Ascension in WWE, I believe. As a uh, Connor of the Ascension, remember they released in 2019, and he's he's now in the W or not AEW uh, Impact. So Nick Wayne is not being paid by WWE about AEW under Kurt Neal wants to get better at promos. Uh, so Britt Baker's out of the January 25th match on AEW Dynamite of a triple threat due to injury. So, so, so she's hurt again. So uh, it was supposed to be a triple threat match. I don't know what the injury is um, for Britt Baker. So the injury's not been announced. Tony Khan, the possibility, possible World Cup of wrestling. I'm open to working with anybody. But maybe Triple H can make it happen. An AEW, WWE, Forbidden Door, possibly. Uh, you could have New Japan involved as well. I mean... This is what it's what's good about Tony Khan. He he actually does what he thinks fans uh, will enjoy, and I'd like to see that he be AEW like Forbidden Door, and you could include New Japan as well. This New Japan is technically a part of a uh, New Japan is technically part of like AEW or WWE because you have Carl Anderson. That and they be go work to New Japan. Uh, so did we files to trademark Emma? So they trademarked the last name Emma. Okay. So the twenty July or the January twenty third WB Raw recorded this higher viewership the highest viewership since twenty twenty. The key demo rating was also up. The first hour the first hour did two point eight million. You obviously had the legends in there. The bloodline was really good. That was just a really good show overall. Uh and I feel like they should maybe do more of these shows again just to mix things up. Just do these every once in a while. Um, Mickey James to Mercedes Monet, come over to Impact. <laughs> Impact. <laughs> Impact. What in front of? Whoa, two people. Wow, two people in the crowd. <laughs> Hell no, this isn't happening. No one watches the impact. Mercedes is is Mercedes is bigger than impact. Get out of here. If, if that match was ever gonna happen, it'd be on like AW maybe. Or WWE. Hell no.
John Morrison and JDB Royal Rumble appearance, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'd like to see, uh, see him come back. Including Matt Cardona would be nice to see him come back. But yeah. But yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this video. Until next time, I'll